The Treaty of 1752 was a treaty signed between the Mekamek people of Shubenacadie, Nova Scotia, and the governor of Nova Scotia on October 1, 1752 during Father L. E. Lutri's War. The treaty was drafted by Edward Cornwallis and later signed by Jean-Baptiste Cope and Governor Peregrine Hobson. Gabriel Silliboy was the first to invoke the Treaty of 1752 in the courts, R. He was charged in Inverness County, Cape Breton, with possession of muskrat and fox pelts, in violation of the Provincial Lands and Forests Act. Further, Cape Breton was not part of the colony of Nova Scotia in 1752. Governor of Nova Scotia Peregrine Hobson with the Nova Scotia Council negotiated the Treaty of 1752 in 1985, Mr. The courts reported that the treaty protected hunting rights for those from Shubenacadie. The court also indicated that there was not enough evidence uncovered at that time to determine if the treaty was terminated by subsequent hostilities. The court did not countenance any aboriginal rights to hunt and fish commercially. Chief Gabriel Silliboy, first to fight for treaty rights in the Supreme Court of Nova Scotia, 1929 in August 1993, in Antitganish, Donald Marshall, J.R., who was from Cape Breton, caught 463 pounds of eels and sold them for $800 as part of a commercial fishery. He was violating federal laws by fishing without a license in a closed season with illegal nets.